Question 38. Consider three processes, P1, P2, and P3, with respective arrival times 0 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, 20 milliseconds, and respective processing times 30, 15, and 30 milliseconds. These three processes are preemptively scheduled on a single CPU system with the shortest remaining processing time first scheduling policy. Which of the following shows the order in which the process is complete from first to last? Well, let's just take a look at this here. Let's suppose we have time t equals zero and we have, uh, let's say, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, that Carmona. What the hell with that? I'm going to do this a little bit easier. Time, 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Now in time 0, this, this, this thing here says processes P1, P2 have arrival times 0 milliseconds, 10 milliseconds, and 20 milliseconds. So P1 is going to arrive right away. P2 is going to arrive after 10 milliseconds. And P3 is going to arrive after 20 milliseconds. So that's what's going to happen as far as time of arrival for these processes. Um, now, what are, their, what are the uh, processing times? Well, P1 is 30. That's going to take us down to 30. P2 is 15. So even though it started at 10, it's going to end up here at 25. And pre P3 is also 30. That's going to take us down to 50. So it's not hard to see that we're doing a shortest remaining processing time. P2 is going to be done first, P1 is going to be done second, and P3 is going to be done last. So, the answer is C. C. P2, P1, P3.